Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hansel C, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Probably the last episode of this uh, second series. Uh, last time we left off maybe 200 cycles in the past. So uh, I let the game run a bit, mostly, so that we can see... Uh, this cooling down here and we see we have three piles of igneous rock the smallest is 130 degrees and the uh, uh, bigger ones uh, the 25 ton uh, piles are at 190 and at this point the cooling here is quite uh, slow because uh, the uh, temperature difference between um, this rock and the steam is not that much. Um, um, what I did or what happened is uh, we run out of water here which had the effect uh, no uh, irrigation of our farms, which caused three more duplicate deaths. So I have added two more duplicates. And then uh, down here, I added a few uh, plants because we get quite a bit of. Uh, polluted water and uh, these uh, table reeds uh, they require polluted water to grow um, what else yeah um, here more and more uh, of the uh, polluted water turn into normal water um, which is a bit of an issue, so I pumped out the, the normal water in a, in a separate tank because it separated nicely uh, up, uh, polluted water down, normal water up. That means now we have not a full tank anymore, but that's okay. Um, also extended here the, the cooling line because down here it is still a bit too warm for our timble reed to grow. Um, it wants to have at max um, 37 degrees and we are 10 degrees above that. Not sure if we will manage to cool down enough, but as you can see, at least at some point it grew. Um, what else? I think that covers about uh, anything. So the thing that I would do differently next time. Um, maybe have a better or more efficient way to cool down the, the debris. And also the way we have to pick it up is uh, by manually uh, switching this up. Uh, and if we could automate that, um, maybe with a temperature sensor on the rail and then with a shut-off gate, so that the debris is only moved out if it is cool enough. Um, but as you can see, what we have in here, it's already a, a tight fit so let's 
uh, move almost everything out here. And then another thing that I noticed is that the magma we had in here that was used quite quickly. So uh, did not take long until uh, this whole reservoir was emptied out. And if we have a look at the uh, volcano, um, it has a 53 second eruption period for every 8481 seconds. So that's um, more than two hours where nothing happens. So, yeah, when it's going, it's uh, producing quite quite a bit, um, but uh, there are long periods where nothing happens. So probably if uh, this should be more sustainable, we probably want to hook up multiple volcanoes into one reservoir to have enough magma to go continually and another issue here of course is that um, the material that we want to pick up and move out should be uh, cool enough but if it is cool, then we do not really uh, have any heat in here, which means we do not produce any power with the system. So basically it's, it's a question, uh, do we have the system for the igneous rock or do we have it for the power? And um, the igneous rock, uh, the only thing it is good for is to feed it to our uh, stone hatchlings so we can get uh, coal. And you can see we have quite a bit of coal at this point. And um, we also should have quite a bit of igneous rock. Yeah, there it is. And there's still sitting more in here. So I'm not sure if uh, we actually would need to have a setup like this um, to Produce igneous rock to feed to our uh, to feed to our uh, stone hatches. Um, it was certainly something nice that I wanted to try out, but uh, probably we would be better off uh, with just letting the the debris sitting here and using the heat. Uh, to produce power. Take the sand. I think I also expanded a bit down here. Uh, not so sure. We're using quite a bit of uh, the uh, oil because currently we're out of uh, natural gas. Oh, that's all fine. We also got this system uh, running again. 
uh, had to do a bit of a, of a tweak here with this setup so that the oxygen coming from the system up here is prioritized over the uh, oxygen we get from there because from here uh, that's basically the oxygen that goes into our base so as much oxygen as possible should go into our base and only the surplus should be uh, going into our suits and uh, we are still moving out rock and the way the uh, system uh, worked that was that was quite nice uh, seems to work reliably so once we have moved everything out we can uh, turn the auto system on which will let in um, the gas or the, uh, the magma not sure what happened here because at one point we had uh, hydrogen in here and uh, currently we have a vacuum so uh, seems like uh, the uh, hydrogen uh, disappeared magically we also had an issue where we run out of water here which meant uh, no oxygen in our base so uh, that's also why I had to get this system running to get a bit of uh, oxygen uh, back in here. Then, uh, yeah, already told you about this one. So I have uh, added a bit of a buffer uh, for, the, for the water in the hope that we do not run into the same problem again. How much is left? Okay, we moved one twenty-five ton pile. Oh, now we are working on the second one. taking damage did not think that possible to happen but there you have it Also damage over here, so let's just ooh incapacitated. That's not good. Yeah, bring him back in. On duplicate saved. And uh, turns out I'm not really using all the all the suits that I have, but it's good to have the have the possibility. And as you can see. Uh, we got mostly rid of the nasty gases here in our uh, living area 
have a bit of uh, carbon dioxide here on that layer that apparently does not want to uh, to trickle down maybe also because we push the uh, hydrogen in below but uh, the chlorine and the natural gas is now well below Oh yeah, and uh, because we run out of food, uh, had our duplicants starved, I decided to uh, add a few refrigerators, so we do not have uh, any food waste. Um, uh, this probably also helps. And looks like we do not have any room for any more uh, hatches. Could add more farmers. I don't see the need for it. We're getting there. It will happen before the end of this episode. Yeah, move the massage table into a dedicated room, uh, made some, some pictures and now we have a massage clinic here, which is another dedicated room. Two piles are about equally big, getting smaller. So we should soon be at the point where we can actually uh, start up the uh, engine again. And we can also have a look in here. Um, They got a bit there and there to be able to reach it. This is one of our duplicates that we took on. This is the uh, other one. So they are still in the process of scaling up. They are almost there. Okay. Now it's mainly one pile. Let's 
something else. Let's take the armlocks as we saw we do not have the room for any additional hatches. Down here you can see we even have a smooth hatch. Um, those would produce refined metal from uh, from the ores um, which can be quite handy however seeing that we do not really have that much uh, ore left and basically gold amalgam is more useful than uh, gold itself and the iron ore yeah probably could feed it uh, a bit of uh, of iron ore to get iron out of it and basically that way not use any energy on this system However, this system, the cool thing about this is uh, at least if you're producing steel you're getting more power out of it than you put in. Because the only thing that requires power is uh, this refinery here. And the thing and these two, uh, two shut off gates and you produce 850 watt and uh, this turbine probably runs longer to cool down than uh, the actual refinery uh, runs to produce one batch of metal okay so now we are done here and let's turn this off and turn that on Now I see the problem because previously we had uh, hydrogen in here, now we have a vacuum. And the uh, therefore the magma is not cooled down fast enough. And we have a bit of uh, molten gold up here. We probably have now the igneous rock here in the tile which is not what we uh, we wanted uh, but we getting more heat out of it not sure where it comes from probably through here because here we have one isolation tile with uh, obsidian and that can transfer the heat so we probably would have to go in here to to fix this 
but as you saw in the last episode uh, if we have some kind of gas in here to uh, to do the cooling then this works nicely and it created uh, more than 50 tons of uh, igneous rock that is now sitting down there so with that we are at the end of this series i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will be back sometime soon with uh, season three uh, of oxygen not included on a new asteroid and uh, we will see what challenges await us there until then goodbye